AG Squad. Welcome back to episode of Is It Worth It? So today episode we got this cool mid rock here and basically what this is is an LED floor lamp. If you see the one that we got right here is from this brand and we got remember in the past actually viewed another product from this brand before and that was also a floor lamp. I'll probably do a comparison of that one versus this one in a different video. But here is basically what the packaging looks like for this one. So first thing I'm actually open up to show you guys what the product looks like inside. Alright, so when you guys first open up, here is basically what the packaging looks like. So I believe there's stuff on both sides. But let's cut it open to see what's included inside first. So for this side, they probably got like the user manual and all the different parts. And they also probably got the remote control and the battery as well, which is AAA batteries. And right here, they also probably got the cable that's built on the product. So you do need to plug that in to activate it. But right here, we do have the shaft. I believe on the other side is the bottom of the base. But I'm going to open the other side as well and it will put everything on the floor and start setting it up to show you guys how to assemble it and what the product looks like when you guys actually use it. Alright, so here is bottom of the base. So if you notice on the bottom, they do have like the non-slip material, the non-scratch material. So that way when you guys are using it, it won't move around and it won't scratch the floor as well. But what you're going to do is screw on each different part onto right here. So I'm actually set it all up to show you guys how to assemble it. All right, so I'm going to screw all this together. Once you guys screw all together, you're going to screw this part onto the bottom. All right, so once you guys finish setting up, here is basically what the part looks like. So what I'm doing now is a plug in the cable to activate it. So once you guys turn it on, if you see the light definitely does work. So you do have the option to control it manually on the actual floor lamp or you can use remote control. So I'm just putting the battery to show you guys how this works. So as I open the bottom part and just slide the battery in and then close it back up and then start using it. If you guys are curious about what the remote control looks like, here is what the remote looks like. If you guys are curious about what each one does, they also probably got that information on the user manual. And the way how they design the floor lamp is actually pretty cool because it gives you guys a gooseneck design. So that way you can move it how you guys want to. So I just want to bring it all the way up this way or this way. You guys can definitely move it how you guys want to. And also give you guys the option to turn the light to different angles if you guys want to as well. So how you guys want to move it, that is up to you guys. But you do have a lot of different options and functionality that are on here. And if you guys are curious about where you guys can control the light on the actual floor lamp, it's right here. But let's test out the remote control to show you guys how it works. So let's turn it off. Turn it back on. The actually makes the room a little bit darker to give you guys a better point of view of the product to show you guys what it looks like if you guys use it in a darker setting. All right, so I made the room a little bit darker. So if you guys turn it on a max, this is what the product looks like. If you guys lower the color temperature, that is on the lowest temperature. If you guys bring it all the way up, that is on max. If you guys lower the brightness level, that is the lowest. If you guys bring it up, that is max. And if you guys change the different mode on here, here is one, here is two, here is three, four, and five. And if you guys press on the build button, like I showed you guys earlier, increase it to the max brightness level on here. So it's really cool how to give you guys the option to control it using the remote control or you can control it manually on the actual floor lamp. And then when you guys try to move it around, it won't move too much because the way how to design the bottom part, it has a good base and foundation. But that is everything that's on the product. Now let's go unboxing and test the product. Now the end question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for this floor lamp, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want one need one of these, especially if you guys are trying to look for a high quality floor lamp where it gives you guys the option to use remote control or the manual control and a gooseneck design so that way you can angle the light how you guys want to, then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you really do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.